Hey everybody, John Dusler here on Disc Golf Planet TV and welcome. We're going to reincarnate the DGP Weekly feature and we are so excited right now. We have with us not, uh, well there's a couple pages that are world championships. Of course we know Paige Pierce from Texas who is our defending a women's open world champion. But we are so pleased today to have Paige Bjerkus, the 2010 junior world champion. And Paige, how are you doing this evening? I am good, John. How are you? I'm excited. I've heard so many great things about you. I've really been watching your your progress throughout the last few years. And uh, Paige, you really uh, you're making a name for yourself in in disc golf. You went from junior world champion in 2010. You finished third in the advanced division in uh, Rochester last year. Um, tell me a little bit about what you consider the strength of your game, Paige. Oh, I'd say my strength, like my biggest strength is definitely my putting. Mm. Um, I, I've been practicing and, you know, I'm kind of getting it down. Um, but also, I just try, try to have fun, you know. That really, really helps you. Like, even if you're doing bad, you just try to have fun. It actually does help um, enjoying yourself and, you know, having a good time, especially when you get to play with the ladies. You always have a good time. Mm. That's definitely... Definitely yeah. good. Oh, I'm sure. Well, you've rocketed up through the ranks here. You uh, were third, like I said, in Rochester last year. Now you are a pro. You are a professional disc golfer. How does that sound to you? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so exciting. It's really awesome. Like, yeah. when I first started, I never thought of that. I was like 10 when I first started. So now hearing Paige, the professional, it's crazy. It's very crazy. Yeah, well, you get to play now with uh, some of your heroes, Paige Pierce, of course, and Liz Lopez. And it's interesting because um, those two players be bring really contrasting styles. Uh, Liz is a much more patient player. You talked a little bit about that with me beforehand. And uh, Paige is really just go for it, throw as hard as you can. And where do you fit in, in that spectrum of really aggressive or really careful? Um, I would definitely consider myself aggressive. Ah. I believe in no risk, no reward. <laughs> okay. Um, it's definitely affected my playing. I've had really good rounds, then went for something, and it kind of tumbled down. I'm trying to learn to be more patient, you know, but it's kind of tough for me. I'm still going aggressive, but I'll learn eventually. Well, sure. I mean, you're 15 years old, of course. You know, who cares? You know, who cares about risk when you're 15 years old? Let me ask you, um, you, you played disc golf since you were 10. Are you involved in any other sports, Paige? Yes, I played basketball um, in middle school, and I'm interested in playing volleyball next year for my, for my school. Oh, great. Definitely. Great. Awesome. Well, we find it's funny because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, Frisbee, and, you know, they sort of look at us like uh, we're not quite a sport. But it's always amazing when I meet the top players in our sport, uh, how many are great athletes off the disc golf course. Uh, Nate Doss is a great basketball player. We know uh, Paul McBeth, obviously, a professional baseball player. So uh, it's pretty neat to, to know that you're, uh, you're involved in other sports as well, as you should be at, at 15 years old. But um, now you're committing to uh, the professional uh, ranks here. And uh, we didn't have a chance to really talk to you too much in, in Arizona at the Memorial. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience at the Memorial page and if there was something you might have learned along the way that you think will help you as a professional now. Well, the first off, the, mem the Memorial was amazing. It was my first year and to see all the excitement with all the famous pros that I've always seen in magazine and watched from like the airing of the Memorial and the USDGC. It was very awesome. Now, I did learn a few stuff. Um, I sometimes lose, you know, when I don't do, like lose my head when I'm not doing so well. But, you know, uh, I met some really nice people who taught me to like just chillax, Paige. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> you know, and besides, it's your first year coming here. You have many years to come. Sure. And that was definitely very helpful and that's that's it. I mean, I met a ton of nice people, and it, it was awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good experience. It definitely is one of the staples of our sport. Uh, that that event is amazing. And uh, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about what your plans are for the 2012 here, as you now are competing in the women's open division. Well, you know, I still have school, so I'm limited on what I can, you know, what tournaments I can play and whatnot. But I do plan on playing the Minnesota Majestic, which mm. I'm super excited about. 
um, the World Championships, of course, and a few other A tiers like the High Plains Challenge in Fort Morgan and Colorado State. But other than that, I'll be playing a few B tiers and a bunch of C tiers here locally because, you know, school, I can't travel too much. I already missed um, about two and a half weeks for the USDGC and the mm. Memorial. So, you yeah. know, school's first. Good. Unfortunately, well, I wish yeah. disc golf could be first, but. No, no, you're, you're on the right track with school. Take it from me as someone who went to school for a really, really long time. Uh, <laughs> So you're, you're on the right track with that. But um, I know that uh, Colorado has a great disc golf scene, and uh, you're, you're fortunate to be around um, some of the most beautiful courses and great organizations. And we know your dad is actually quite involved with organizing the, uh, the women's event in Colorado. Tell us a little bit about um, the role your dad plays in your disc golf career and the event that's coming up later this year, uh, the women's event. Oh, man, if it wasn't for my dad... I would and my mom. I would not be playing disc golf. They got into it a while ago, and finally, when we moved here, we used to live in Texas. When we moved here, we finally got into it. Um, my dad plays a big role. He's always helping me out. He's always buying me stuff, of course, and he gives great advice. And he tells me, you know, when to calm down, and he just <laughs> he's just very helpful. He's very, you know, loving. You know, especially when I do really bad in a tournament and I'm so upset, he's always there, you know, to try to cheer me up. So now, your, dad, your dad caddies while you're playing? Uh, he does caddy sometimes. He's, he usually plays in the tournaments, but when he cool. can caddy, he's always, Paige, do you want a caddy? And, of course, I take it. Who doesn't always want caddies? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's great advice. And you'll see that the uh, the pros actually will take advantage of anybody volunteers to caddy for them. You'll you'll see them usually uh, take advantage. That's great. And your dad, of course, is uh, he's sort of the co-tournament director of the women's event. Tell us a little bit about, I guess it's the Rocky Mountain women's uh, tournament in your state. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad is definitely the, you know, the co-tournament director. The course that it's playing at this year is one he designed himself. Hmm. So he definitely, we're actually putting in tee pads in for right now. But nice. he's, 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 he asked for so many sponsors. Like if it wasn't for all the sponsors he went up to, it definitely wouldn't be as good as it was like with, you know, the payout and everything. Sure. And he's sure. also, he promotes it so well. If you see any girl on the course, he'll be like, hey, you know, have you heard of the Rocky Mountain Women's? You should definitely play. And he promotes it so well. And my dad is like very, he's very, I would consider jolly. So he's not, <laughs> like he's very easy to talk to. And, you know, it's, I love it. It's, and he he's just supporting it so well. That's great. Well, I know I haven't really talked to your dad that much, but we had some great correspondences over the last week to set up this interview. And, and I certainly got the same vibe from him. And <laughs> speaking of sponsors, you are in the enviable position of, actually having a few sponsors yourself and uh you know many golfers disc golfers uh, they try so hard to get sponsorship but i guess once you get that world champion uh, moniker behind your name uh you know a lot of the a lot of the, the disc golf industry takes notice so you have a few sponsors so tell us a little bit about them Paige. well my first sponsor ever was fade gear and they make bags and shirts and stuff and they picked me up when I was like 790 rated and now I was like 11 or 12. Mm. And they make disc golf bags. Uh, they make small, medium, and large. And they're just perfect. I mean, they have a side pocket, a drink holder, a mini you know, pocket, and a pencil pocket, which is basically all you need to play disc golf. Sure. They're just amazing sure. and so supportive of me. They've been there every step of the way ever since I was you know, 11 or 12. And they're just amazing. And Tim not only sponsors you, Tim McNinch from uh, from Fade Gear, who is also mm -hmm. one of uh, Disc Golf Planet's uh, great sponsors as well. But uh, he sponsors the event uh, that your dad runs too. So uh, I know he's been a great supporter of the sport, and especially women in disc golf, which is, I think, an underserved area that we also are very focused on. But uh, Fade Gear is not your only sponsor, huh? Mm-mm. Uh, my <laughs> other sponsors are Dynamic Discs and... They picked me up. I remember I got a text from my dad saying, Dynamic Discs wants to sponsor you in seventh grade. And I got so excited. I was in the middle of class and I jumped up and down. And everyone's like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> but, I mean, they, you know, they, they dye the coolest dyes ever. Like, ever since when I first started, I saw their dyes everywhere. You know, and I was like, oh, they're so cool. And, you know, they make awesome shirts. And I love wearing their shirts. They have the coolest shirts. They're comfortable. And I love them. And they make towels and minis and all this stuff. 
Sure. They're amazing. And you mm-hmm. uh, you reciprocated with uh, that sponsorship by winning the Glass Blown Open. Uh, was it last year that you won the event, or when, when did you win that? 2009, I won Advance. Awesome. Awesome. Great. So I'm sure Jeremy, uh, you know, another, again, we, it seems like we walk the same road here because Jeremy Rusco and the Dynamic Disc team, they're one of Disc Golf Planet sponsors as well. So uh, we keep good company, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And of course, uh, your, your disc sponsor, I see a Discraft disc in your fade gear bag there. Tell us about them. Discraft. Um, I got, you know, I got sponsored by them after I got to beat Oh, I beat Des Redding in an A tier. It was my most memorable win. It was mm-hmm. amazing. And, you know, they saw it and they, they picked me up. I mean, they make the best discs. Like, I used to have a mixed bag, but now that I have, you know, on this craft, it's definitely improved. Sure. And I'm just so excited, especially, I mean, like, when I was got first, when they first, you know, asked me, I got so excited. I was, like, jumping up and down. But <laughs> they've helped me. They've supported me. And I'm so excited for the new titanium stuff to come out. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. We just got a batch of them here in the office uh uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, for uh, for the memorial prizes, and uh, they're they're really cool. Um, I guess they're approach discs that we got, so uh, I'm sure all our Disc Golf Planet members who won those prizes will be excited about it. Um, but Paige, let me let me ask you. You know, disc golf is a sport that um, you've been in for more than a few years now. It's amazing. At 15, uh, you started playing so young. But what is your impression of disc golf as it stands now, and what what do you think we're doing right in disc golf? And what are some areas you think we might be able to prove in, improve in on our sport? Well, things are doing right. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff disc golf is doing right. I mean, they're supporting ladies, which is a big, big thing in disc golf. And, um, like, how people spread it around. You have all the big pros and maybe even the, you know, amateur players. They're just trying to spread the word, trying to make it, you know, all everything. Like, everyone will know about it. It's very awesome how many people like are knowing about it because you yourself know about it and you tell all your friends and then your friends right. tell your friends. I think that's definitely something that disc golf's done right. I think what can make it better is placing more, I guess, courses at like elementary school, middle schools and high school. Mm. Because kids I mean if kids get into it, you know, the future is gonna be better. Like every kid throws a baseball and They've shot, you know, thrown a basketball on a hoop. If every sure. kid can throw a disc into a basket, I mean, it's, you get hooked on it. And, I mean, many people go their whole lives without seeing a disc golf course, but they see golf courses and, you know, tennis, you know, courts and basketball courts and sure. whatnot. So if we put more courses, I think that will definitely help. Definitely help. And I, I think also, to, to be honest, and have a great ambassador and, and such a good player like yourself, you're well-spoken, Paige, and uh, you, you definitely represent the game quite well. And it has been just an absolute pleasure having you here on Disc Golf Planet TV. Uh, when can we expect to see you? We're going to be, I guess we'll see at the Worlds, or uh, I'm not sure we're going to beat the Minnesota Majestic, but it uh, be great to catch up with you down the road. Um, maybe at the uh, the Colorado Rocky Women's. Tell us a little bit about the information if people want to sign up for the um, the, the the women's event in Colorado. Tell us a little bit about where they might be able to find out more information. Um, you can go to um, the Mile High Disc Golf Club website, which mm-hmm. is you know uh, the the club that helps support the Rocky Mountain Women's. Um, cool. You can definitely go on the PDGA site and look it up. Awesome. It's in like the last weekend in June, you can definitely sign up there. Okay. That's that's really all I know. <laughs> Well, Paige, do you have any uh, any last comments you'd like to say? Uh, maybe about you know, just you know, thanking your sponsors or anything you'd like to say about disc golf before we leave. I definitely like to thank my sponsors. I mean, if, <laughs> if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. But I mean, I can't express how much like I love disc golf. I, you know, after high school, I plan on touring. And one time, Valerie wrote this article about whether, you know, school or disc golf, and it was definitely helped me. I plan on, you know, playing disc golf, you know, as a, after I graduate and taking some online classes, you know, play as much as I possibly can because it's an amazing sport. I definitely think that if more people tried, they get hooked and it would become bigger and bigger, and that's what we need. We, yeah, we definitely need it to be that big. Well, as someone who puts great value in school, remember Valerie is out on the road touring and playing, but she's also taking her college classes uh, online too. So she, 
uh, really knows the value of great education, and it sounds like you do too. Um, Paige Bjork is from Colorado. It's been an absolute pleasure to talking to you, and thank you so much for joining us on DiscGolfPlanet.tv. Thank you.